These are the new Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. Normally, I wouldn't want to necessarily buy something from Instagram slash Meta, but I'm a big uh, Ray-Ban Wayfarer fan, and I'm constantly looking for ways to shoot some more behind the scenes kind of stuff. And having a camera that is that big on a pair of glasses, instead of pulling something out of my camera or out of my pocket, or having to stick something on top of a camera, is pretty great. Just go like this, hold it down. You can still see a little pulsing light there. So if you're worried about someone uh, maybe kind of trying to be a weirdo with you, you're definitely still gonna know. So if you see someone with this and that's kind of flickering like that, you know that they're taking a video uh, and it gives you a fake kind of flash thing too if you wanna take a photo. But it's a pretty sweet solution. Here's the thing about these smart glasses is, yes, they're expensive. So this pair was 330, which is not cheap, but if you're buying a pair of Ray-Bans, you are gonna be spending in like the one to $200 range anyway. But then also, if you're gonna buy some sort of action camera, you're gonna be spending in the two to three to $400 range as well. Now, there are definitely a bunch of limitations about this. Obviously, it's going to be pretty small and uh, you're not gonna be able to do nearly as much as some of the other options. But I think that what really kind of has this is the convenience of it all. Now, it's not lost on me the irony of myself living in the Pacific Northwest, buying a pair of sunglasses in uh, what is late October. So I'm definitely trying to see if I can get a pair of just like neutral glasses so I can wear them as regular glasses. Because I think the thing I really wanna do is end up taking this to weddings because if you see, the nice thing is the camera on this thing, and I'll just record this just because I can. And you'll see again, the lights on right there. The camera on this thing is on the left eye. So if I have a camera up to my face like this, or like this, or even an offset one, it's not gonna get in the way, and I'm still gonna be able to kind of see a little bit of the camera maybe, um, but I'm definitely gonna be able to see my subject and what's going on. Now, there's definitely a few limitations I'm gonna be running into with these. The first one is we are only vertical. So it's definitely made for social media. Obviously, this is a collaboration with Meta, AKA Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, all that kind of stuff. So if I'm gonna be doing this for YouTube content and I want something widescreen, not really gonna be able to get it. They are technically full HD and a little bit beyond that because it is uh, 19, like 43 by, I don't know, 1400 or something like that. So you get like a four by three aspect ratio vertically. So it does give you a lot of flexibility and it's high enough quality that you can definitely use it for social media. But if I was gonna be using it for YouTube stuff, I would definitely have to be putting it like on the side of the screen. The other thing about that is you only get one minute of recording. So one thing I like to do is record like a full wedding ceremony. Obviously that's not gonna work, but for, you know, social media stuff, a minute's more than enough. These things don't have a USB-C port or anything like that. They have a really nice charging case, which is super helpful. Uh, but the only way to get things on and off is via the Meta Viewer app. So it's not like you can disconnect completely from a phone or another device and use these to their full potential. You still have to use a phone. Now, these are smart glasses. So they're not just glasses with a camera in them. They have voice activated AI stuff that'll go through your phone and ask Meta, whatever you can say. Hey Meta, take a picture. Hey Meta, blah, 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 blah. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not gonna talk to, I don't talk to Siri. I don't talk to Google. But the thing that I find uh, most useful that has nothing to do with photography is it has really good speakers in here. So I've been listening to podcasts. Uh, I have been, I've listened to uh, the Seahawks football game when I went to Home Depot yesterday to fix my toilet. Um, and it's nice to be able to hear everything going on around you while still being able to hear the audio. You're not gonna get amazing audio quality, but it's pretty good, especially for the fact that it's a decent distance from your actual ear. All right, so we're gonna turn this on, do a little walk test to see how well it does. So, the thing about this is, I don't know what they're doing in their algorithms and stuff, but it looks really, really good. Um, there's definitely times where it's a little bit uh, blurry in a weird way, but 
overall, the stabilization, especially for something, uh, it's definitely meant for social media content. You're not doing more than that on here. And from all of my testing and things, really, really good. I do a weekly bike ride uh, with some friends, a group road cycling ride through these same roads. And just getting some behind the scenes content with these glasses on my road bike, super good. And the footage looks amazing. Now at a wedding where you don't have the assumption of privacy, especially because I'm already carrying around a camera, I don't see much of an issue of it at all. The issue I find would be if you were on a bus or the subway or something like that. People don't necessarily think you're taking some sort of video and I don't know. Let me know what you think about the ethics of all that kind of stuff in the comments down below because I don't feel like I'm ever gonna be using it in a place that would be ethically compromising to me or potential subjects, but I can see where this could be sketchy in the wrong hands. So making this more subtle while still giving an indicator that something is being recorded, I think is definitely a big help here. Obviously one of the more unique things about this as well is I can talk while this is happening. I don't have to wear a really large thing so people around me aren't going to necessarily know as much that I'm taking video, which is, I guess, a bad thing in that it's making people more unaware that this stuff's happening, I guess. But for me, it's really helpful because I'm already there to make images and having more cameras, whether it's sticking a GoPro here on the top of a camera or something like that, is definitely more obtrusive. But I think the unique thing is you can have both your hands in the frame. You don't have to be you using like a mouth mount or a head mount or anything like that to get a good kind of POV kind of thing. Again, it's only 60 seconds max, but for a lot of social media things, I think it works out pretty good. As a first impression, these things are great. It's not going to be better than another camera. It's just going to be more convenient. Just like your phone being in your pocket is more likely to get you more images than having to carry around something like this because I'm going to be much more likely to bring this everywhere because they're just sunglasses or regular glasses. And the fact that I can integrate them basically as a set of headphones will make it even more likely for me to bring them elsewhere as well. So if you kind of combine a pair of headphones with a action camera and a pair of sunglasses, that $330 price tag doesn't end up feeling as bad. Definitely not cheap but I have definitely spent more on all three of those items over the years. So to be able to combine them in a sort of more limited fashion into one device gets my uh, seal of approval. I know these are going to be polarizing, uh, well, literally polarizing, but polarizing in terms of the fact that they are made in collaboration with Meta. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Does the footage look okay? Do the photos look all right? Would you buy them? Are they worth it? Is it overpriced? Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next one.